surprises of 2009. For more, here's Fred. An equally big surprise. Hopefully it won't rain. It's been raining like for weeks yeah. on Friday nights. Finally, Maybe the rain suits go away. All right, let's <laughs> talk about this for a second. Hello again, everybody. Our high school playbook of school of the week is Shelby County. Any conversation involving Shelby County football has to start with the catch. <laughs> Quarterback Brandon Cressup to Ben Axline for a circus catch. It rolls behind his head and down his shoulders for a 58-yard touchdown and a win over Nelson County. The video generated the most hits in the history of HighSchoolPlaybook.com and even made ESPN.com. Is it different when you see the video? It is. Like, it's kind of hard to watch because I don't remember most of it. I just remember catching it over here, and then I don't remember any of the other stuff. Axline's catch is indicative of the kind of season Shelby County's had. Lots of things are going the Rockets' way now that Axline and Crescent are both back from injuries. With them this year, Shelby County's won 8 of 10 games. Without them last year, the Rockets lost 10 of 11, one of the most dramatic single-season turnarounds in the 2009 Kentucky prep football season for head coach Todd Shipley. Well, the one thing is you're, you're never out of it. You know, for our seniors, you know, they ended on a bad note last year. For our juniors, they, they knew that there were more things coming. And uh, to never quit. The football team really sets the tone of the year for the school. So, you know, school really wasn't the same as it usually is. Mm. And now? Oh, it's great. Everybody's supporting us, and everybody comes out to the games. The whole county's there. For a cross-country team headed for the regionals this weekend and a football team hosting a first-round playoff game for the first time in 15 years, Shelby County High School, WLKY's High School Playbook, School of the Week! All right, Shelby County starts the playoffs tomorrow night at 7.30, hosting Seneca. I'm Fred Cowgill, WLKY News.